Alrighty hostas, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a drop down menu. So up to now we just made regular menu items and I'm going to add another one, but instead of just going to a page, whenever the user clicks it, it's going to pull up a drop down menu and they can select from some sub menu items. And before I actually get to that, I just want to change the default styling of this main navigation bar because it's light gray. I don't know, it just looks kind of wimpy to me. So instead of the nav bar default styling, which we have right now, I'm going to change this to inverse. And that just inverses the color scheme and I don't know, I just think it looks a little bit cooler, makes it pop out a little bit easier to read. But you know, follow your heart, choose whatever one you like. Now let's go ahead and add that drop down menu. Now in order to do this, we're actually going to add a new let me comment this might be drop down menu so we're just going to be adding another menu item to the list but inside that menu item is actually another list and that's going to be the drop down menu so just like before a regular menu item but we have to give it a special class to indicate that it's a drop down so not door up down drop down there you go Bucky alright so the first thing we have to take care of is what text do we want to appear on the button so just like before this one's home this one's about this one's contact I'll say that it's like uh, my profile and then when you have a drop down list you can like choose different like your photos your settings whatever and also another thing I want to do is this right now if we just write my profile and don't do anything else whenever the user is looking at this navigation bar they don't know which is just a regular menu item and what is a drop down item so to the right of the my profile text I'm gonna add a little down arrow and that's just a little indicator that hey whenever you click this it's actually a menu and not just a direct link to some other page so in order to do that let me just add a dead link and autocomplete is messing with me and alright so my profile and let me just make that carrot right now are you kidding me alright so inside span you write nothing because what you do is you just actually change the class to carrot and that's not spelled like the vegetable it's c-a-r ET if you want to add another you know icon then feel free but this is the one that I like and also this link right now is just gonna act as a basic link but we want to give it drop down functionality in in order to do that the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the class to drop down minus toggle and we also need another parameter called data toggle and you set this attribute to drop down so now whenever we click this link it doesn't treat it as a normal link it's going to treat it as a drop down and open up a menu that is inside this list so let's actually go ahead and create that menu right now now it's going to be an owner list and our sub menu items or the items on the drop down menu are going to go in here and before we do that we need to change one more class to let it know that hey this is a drop down menu and can you guess what this is drop down menu so now all we have to do is make our list items and let me just copy some of these. So again, these are the items that are going to be on your drop down menu and I'll just say like uh, friends, um, photos, settings. There you go. So there you go, kind of confusing, but hopefully when I run this, then you see that my profile instead of being a normal link it has a carrot to the right and I should probably add a space right after my profile and this just makes it so that arrow is not butted up right up against the text so you see that and now instead of just going to another page whenever I click it we get that drop down menu pretty sweet now let me show you one more thing since I have a little bit of time and that is 
how do you make it so that you have some items right here so on my webpage the new boston.com if you noticed um the logout link is to the right of all the other ones because this is where you're going to be navigating most of the time and if you ever want to log out then you know you don't accidentally click it or anything so I'll show you guys how to write a line alright so here are all your menu items and this unordered list right here think of this as for the left hand side so if we want to get one on the right we need to make another one and let me just say right uh, line slime right align and now we need to make another unordered list and the class of this ready for some redundant typing nav navbar nav navbar right see could they not come up with some better naming conventions but hey I'm not complaining just saying just saying and now all we have to do is you know just make any list item So I'll say log out. So I'll build it like I'm um, copying my website. And there you go. Here is our main navigation menu on the left. And also this additional one that is right aligned for the logout. And of course, if we ever want to add additional items on the right, we just copy this and add some more. But I only like to have one on the right because it looks kind of goofy if you add more than that. But now that you know the basics of how to create a drop down menu and also how to write a line certain menu items, we're ready to move on to the next part and that is how to add that main toggle for mobile navigation.